Good morning. Today is Friday, January 24th, and a little while ago I threw on some clothes and went to the community mailbox to mail the HOA and the cable bill, and I went to check the mail from last night because I never went out when I came home last night to get the mail from yesterday. I don't know why I was home early enough. I just didn't do it. I've been doing that a lot lately, not getting the mail when I come home at night. But anyway, um, I knew I would probably get a bill today, or yesterday, and I did, because <laughs> I mailed the other two, and I got the electric bill, so I just wrote that check, and I'll probably put it in the mailbox a little bit later this morning, and... Yeah, that's about it. I, t I woke up earlier than normal. Um, woke up around 6.30. Came, came in here, turned on the computer, and then I walked around the house. I've been trying to do that every morning to walk around the house and do at least a thousand steps in the morning. And I want to do it throughout the day, and I don't always do it. Like, you know, walk in the morning, then the afternoon, and the evening. Definitely not evening because um, it gets dark in the house, and I've said it before, but there's no, the lighting in here is not the greatest. I just have lamp light, like in, you know, the bedrooms and the living room and stuff. So, really don't feel like walking around in the dark uh, in the house. And I know I need to walk a lot more than a thousand steps, but I think it will, you know, kick, you know, a good kickoff in the morning to do that. Um, and then if I go out throughout the day, then, you know, that's just more steps. Anyway, I'm rambling. <laughs> so today, don't have no plans as of yet. Of course, I'm always looking at house seats, but... As of right now, it looks like I'm going to be staying home tonight. And of course, it's still early. Who knows about tomorrow night? I'm really hoping to get something for tomorrow. And I might straighten up around here. Um, I need to straighten out the desk again. It's not totally messy, but it can stand a little straightening up. This could be straightened up. I keep saying it. The floor definitely needs to clean, get cleaned up, but I think it's what's stopping me is trying to move the cord so the um, rumba doesn't get stuck in the cords and drag everything. And then in here, like I said, nothing's really terrible. Maybe the end tables and the couch. Cause that's where I have, like, my diamond paintings and stuff. My, the, well, the drills and the garbage for the empty baggies. And then this I brought in from the, my old bedroom in here because, you know, I was running low on some of, well, I ran out of some of the drills. And I'm still working on the paintings, so I just brought it in here to, you know, look for the drills that I need. So, yeah. And this is the other soap that needs to go in another bedroom, in another bathroom. And I don't remember which one. But, yep, nothing too exciting going on today. So, I'm going to end it here and see how the day goes. See you guys later. Well, I started taking stuff down to the lower level. They won't get knocked around like the lamp. Oh, well, you can't see it's too bright. The lamp over here that was here, and I unplugged some stuff. So the rumba wouldn't get caught up. And I might push one of these carts down there. And I moved the garbage bag. I have to empty it. And so later I can have put the rumba up here. I have it do its thing that's much needed. And then I started walking around the house a little bit to get my steps up. And I just got a phone call from the exterminator because 
um, they were wondering about a payment for when they were here in December and I said I told the one girl that called um, about it because you know she was trying to collect it over the phone I'm like I was home all afternoon because it he was here he was supposed to be here on the 17th of December and I was you know I went to pay the property taxes in the morning and get the stuff straightened out that and I really didn't need to go downtown but anyway <laughs> and I was home all afternoon when he was supposed to be here and so she and I never got a bill if he was here because they usually leave like a um like a slip of paper saying they were here if they just do the outside and he didn't do that and so she transferred me over to somewhere else and she was really nice I was able to change my name because um, it was still under my mom's account I mean under my mom's name and she looked at the GPS because they can track the trucks and she said that he was here and he just did the outside and they usually do the outside but they come in and do the inside because the last few, you know, when they come, they ring the doorbell and, you know, they ask if you want the inside, and we do, because the HOA provides the um, exterminator for the outside of the property, um, but I know a lot of them here, a lot of the residents here also, when they have the, their exterminator come to their house, they do the outside too just a little added protection <laughs> so that's why he never came in he, you know, I'm, they're supposed to acknowledge that they're here <laughs> and ask if you want the inside done um, but this guy never did that and he I think she said he was new so um, we're gonna have him come out again tomorrow they're gonna have an um, exterminator come out and it happens to be the same guy that was here last month I think like I said he was new and he's gonna come between 1 and 4 which is fine cuz I'll still be I'll be home cuz so far there ain't nothing on house seats of course it's like a little early I think for that stuff to come up for tomorrow so it's gonna come between then and do the inside and in between then, that's going to be free because I'm like, are you going to charge me? <laughs> and she said no because it's in between. And I think they're going to send out a bill for last month <laughs> since I never sent it. And that will take care of that. I was kind of hoping I would get away with it because they never showed up. But I guess they did, supposedly. But yep, that's what's going on. And I'm going to continue my walking and then probably look at house seats again and then bring the rumba up. Because I emptied that too before. Yep, and I sort of cleaned the ba my bathroom. I did the countertop, emptied it, you know, well not emptied it, but straightened it up a bit and cleaned my part of the sink or the side of the sink I use because it's a double sink. But anyway, I'm rambling now, so I'll see you guys later. So the noise you hear is the rumba. I just started it like a couple minutes ago because I wanted to wait. So I did some wraps around the house. I made it a little past 3,000 steps to, so far today. And I also wanted to keep checking house seats to see if any will pop up for tonight or tomorrow, well, especially tomorrow night because there's a show I want, really wanted to go see. So I kept refreshing every so often all morning and it's like a quarter, to, quarter after one in the afternoon and I kept refreshing, refreshing and before I refreshed this last time like five minutes ago or so I checked Suncoast because the one time I checked well, the first time I checked, there were lots of seats available for the show. And then I checked the other day, 
and didn't look like there was as many seats available for them to go, you know, to go to house seats. So, like I said, I checked again just before I refreshed a couple more times, and there were lots of seats available. So, like I said, I refreshed like a couple minutes ago before I started the rum, got the rumba up there, and it was there. I was like, ah! <laughs> so, I clicked on it, got my ticket while it was, in between getting my ticket, I instant messaged on Facebook friends of my parents, because when we went to see the Tom Petty tribute band, Heart, Heart Shakers, no, well, I forget the name of that band, it was the Tom Petty and the Heart, Heartbreakers tribute band. I think it was Tom Petty and the Heart Shakers was the name of that tribute band. But anyway, basically when we went to that one after that show, she told me to be on the lookout for um, this one when it comes up in the house seats or if and when it comes up. So that's what I've been doing all week. And I let her know. I know they weren't home. I think they went to this, um, because I noticed on Facebook she posted pictures of Bellagio at the conservatory. Because I think they're doing something for Chinese New Year's at the Bellagio. But, um, yeah, I just messaged her. I haven't heard back yet. So I don't know if she's home or what. But, yep. And then I just, um, after I got it, printed it, I moved some more stuff. And when I moved the, one of the, the Ikea carts down here, and um, I think that's all I did. Well, I picked up the, you know, the cord for my charger I got at Amazon. Picked that up off the ground so I wouldn't do, do anything. And, yeah. Oh, and on Amazon, I Facebooked on, um, and on diamond painting and puzzle Facebook group, someone posted a diamond painting that was on sale on Amazon. Well, it's nothing I would be interested in, but, you know, the picture, but I clicked on Amazon and went through Amazon rabbit hole, and I ordered a diamond painting. It's a partial, and it's something that I had on my wish list on AliExpress, and it's much cheaper on, somewhat on Amazon than it is on Ali. Um, it's five something, and with taxes and everything, it was still five dollars, but I forget, it was more closer to six and stuff, but free shipping, Prime, so I wanted to get that one for a gift for somebody. And so I finally got that one. And I have one. Well, I had two of my cart on AliExpress because there's a sale. A long winter sale. I think there's a, like a week left on it. I had two and I took one off. I think this, this yesterday, last night, I took one off. And one's still hanging in my cart, but I probably won't get it. Maybe till later. But, yep, that's what's going on. I'm excited. This is a um, Huey Lewis in the News tribute band. And like I said in previous vlogs, I saw him before. He, well, the first time he played at the Sun Coast, they played at the Sun Coast. And it was the day before my mom passed, which is almost exactly a month. Because, well, not exactly. She passed away the 28th. I saw him the 27th, so like two days before <laughs> he played six months ago. But anyway, I, I hopefully won't get too sad and melancholy, melancholy too sad when I see them because I really like, really like the, um, well not the tribute band, I like the real band. But they were really good. He was really good. So enough babbling. See you guys later.